Hello guys, myself I'm Shivarshit from CSC department. I'm a member of Blockchain Club. Today I'm gonna to explain about the smart contracts. So I would tell it with an example. Let's take a vending machine which would uh, give me a chocolates. Uh, I would uh, keep the coin in it. I would select the chocolate which I want. I would uh, press enter. It would return me a chocolate. The same vending machine role is played by the smart contracts in the transaction process where the third party uh, apps are deleted. I mean, they are not uh, involved in this process. Like the sellers, they are not involved in this process. Smart contracts are self-executing contracts, which contain terms and conditions of an agreement between the peers. The terms and conditions of an agreement is written in a code. It executes in a blockchain-based decentralized platform. This agreement facilitates the exchange of money, shares, property etc a blockchain based decentralized system where the transaction are authorized with the majority of participants and identity of the participant is kept anonymous so why to use this smart contracts uh, first i would tell about the traditional contracts traditional contracts are nothing but let's take two parties a and b to make a contract they will utilize the services of a third party whom they would trust and make their contracts done. So in case of smart contracts, now the introduction of smart contract will remove the dependency of such third parties and automate the execution process. So that's the process of, uh, so that's the process of smart contract. So we will see some advantages uh, by using the smart contracts rather than going for a traditional transactions. Uh, first is the involvement of third parties is completely avoided in case of smart contracts. Uh, like in case we take the traditional contracts uh, where the government may be involved where some banks may be involved so for this process it will take a long time it may take two to three days or anything but with the help of smart contracts it would definitely take a few minutes and complete the process uh, remittance uh, first i would tell about remittance remittance is nothing but transaction of money um, it is a manual process in case of smart contracts um, <coughs> it's an uh, it is automated here um, where uh, uh, it would uh, kept some um, it would keep some condition and whenever that condition is met then the process gets automated and then the money gets transferred at that time so what is the language uh, which we use for this smart contracts is we would use the uh, solidity language there are two languages solidity and serpent but in case of blockchain transactions mostly we use the solidity language itself so that's all thank you now let us see the installation of metamask extension first head over to the metamask once you'll uh, once there you'll see this blue button here that allows you to download the extension for whatever browser you use on the chrome and uh, click on this uh, download for and it will take you to the chrome web store and here you can learn more about the application and read reviews on this page once uh, ready to go click click the add to chrome button and uh, which will then install your metamask wallet click on add extension for free so it's getting downloaded here So once you have installed the metamask you will see the small fox icon yeah so once you have uh, installed this you will see the icon over here and uh, and the notification will appear letting you know that the install was successful and a quick tip is to make this extension visible and access on the browser bar click on this grey puzzle icon to show so now we need to set up our metamask wallet so next you will be given an option like you know let's get started and we have this uh, create a new wallet so assuming that you are a new uh, user click on the create a new wallet button on the right and you get started with a new wallet so here click on i agree and give a password of your choice with eight characters and create a new wallet 
so click on secure my wallet and uh, this gives you reveal the secret face and these are the words given to me and you have to copy them okay and next you have to click on confirm and the wallet creation is successful you have successfully protected your wallet and keep your secret recovery phrase safe and secret it's a responsibility in uh, so you have to put that uh, secret uh, words as a safe so that you can recover your phrase anytime when you need so click on got it next done and you have been redirected to the metamask page and this is your account now click on this uh, drop down and click on add network and here add a network manually and here in the telegram channel they had given us a network name a network rpc url in the telegram channel copy those here okay in the telegram channel they gave us a link about the network details click on it and they gave us the info about uh, so copy this details over there so fill all the details and uh, save it so this created a sharedum liberty to win to x this thing so now now we need to claim our uh, ethers so we have that uh, link given to claim 100 shm via discord so these are uh, available in discord we need discord for this click on this link this redirects us to the discord uh, sharedum page so now here search for faucet uh, to into one and here type backslash faucet yeah you click on back uh, click on this and here uh, copy your address and click on enter to your ad address and should reflect in your wallet shortly so when we go to the metamask wallet refresh it so yeah we have received our 100 shm and so the hello everyone in this video we will create a piggy bank contract so piggy bank is a self isolated saving structure and that allows the user to save funds in a special account that only the user can withdraw from so for this for creating this piggy bank uh, contract we will be using solidity to write the contract and also we use this remix id to debug and test our code so this is the remix uh, page and we need to create a file which is named as a uh, piggy bank so first click on solidity and click on new file and name this file as piggy bank dot sol piggy bank dot so dot sol and save it so now copy the code here and in this code we are using this license we are using this license uh, so we call a license which is important or we won't be able to compile our code as we will get an error prong and uh, we also tell our compiler the version of the solidity we are working with that is 0.8.17 so and also use this compiler version on our projects so first we basically the piggy bank is always initially empty we need to put some money so this money can be uh, put by anyone so that's why we use this receive function which is external and payable and next uh, we'll create a contract uh, uh, named piggy bank and uh, the events are event deposit uh, we call on event which is a function of solidity 
that means any time deposit argument is called the event should also be called as well and next we have this function withdrawn uh, here finally we call the withdrawn function and we require that for anyone to call this function and they must be owner hence the require call this one that's why we are using this require call require message dot sender equals to equals to owner comma not owner so we just by end up uh, by destructing destroying the contract by deleting all the files and starting again with the self destruct call and next then all the money have been transferred to the owner account the contract is destroyed so this is the final code we get and save this file by hitting control plus s and you see a green tick mark over here that means the code is compiled without any errors now let us go, get into the deployment section and de click on deploy and run transactions and here uh, let the environment uh, be injected provider matat mask and next click on deploy Uh, as you can see here it shows creation of piggy bank pending actually it redirects us to a metamask no metamask page and here click on confirm so it is pending get into the remix one so here so the contract deployment is successful now go into the deployed uh, contracts of this and uh, click on owner and uh, enter how many ethers do you want to uh, enter into this piggy bank so initially this piggy bank's balance is zero ethers so you need to put some ethers into this piggy bank so enter the number of ethers you want to put into this piggy bank uh, i want 5 ethers and now click on owner and transact so the transact to piggy bank so the contract interaction is successful and next if now we want to withdraw the money now i need this ethers so i need i wanted to withdraw this ethers so now click on withdraw the transaction is done and the balance is zero so what we actually did here is we had a piggy bank which was initially empty so we send it some money like we put some ethers into that piggy bank so i i send it some four ethers into the piggy bank and next again i just withdrawn it